Hi, I'm Dave Mosher with Discovery Space, and I'm here at Goddard Space Flight Center to chat with Matt Mountain of the Space Telescope Science Institute, and I'm gonna ask him three questions about the universe. We have the Hubble servicing mission coming up here. What are we gonna see that we haven't seen before? Well, we're gonna penetrate some of the earliest epochs near the beginning of time. We're gonna see some of the very first galaxies we hope formed that we have only guessed are, are there. We're also going to be probing places where stars form, these great clouds, these great pillars of creation, and get some sense of our origins. What is the most surprising thing that, to you that has ever been found with Hubble? The most surprising thing, I think, is this whole concept of dark energy. The idea that the universe is somehow accelerating away from us, and we have no idea why. I mean, it's surprising in the sense that, you know, if I take this pair of glasses and I throw it up into the air, we know it goes up, it'll come down, and gravity will pull it back in my hand. What we're seeing with the Hubble with dark energy is I throw these glasses up into the air, it goes up, slows up, and accelerates through the ceiling. <laughs> and we have no idea why. The Hubble telescope has been called, you know, the people's telescope. How has it changed culture? How has it changed? our vision of the universe. It's allowed everybody to look at the universe. This isn't some sort of closeted thing that we have that only a few sort of high priests of astronomy. Everybody in the public can actually see these images. There isn't a school in this country that doesn't have a Hubble picture on the wall. And these pictures are what we would see if we had eyes like the Hubble. These are optical pictures. These aren't computer creations. These are real pictures. 